I think the same rules applied 50 years ago, applied five years ago, apply 20 years from now. First of all, you have to know what you own, whether it's a fund or a stock, and you have to have a reason for it. And you ought to be able to explain to an 11-year-old in two minutes or less why you own it. And, and this sucker's going up is not a good reason. I've tried that one. It's not a, it doesn't work. Basically, you look now, you have three choices. I think if, if you're an investor, you can put your money in a money market fund and get one seven, one five, one six, and, and it's taxed at a 40% rate. Or you can buy a 10-year treasury and get four seven, and that's taxed at a 40% rate. Or you can have some equities. And I think stocks over the next 10 years will do a lot better than four seven or one seven. So I would have some of my money. Now, it's up to the person to decide how much they want to have in the stock market. For some people, 10% is aggressive. For some people, 50% is the right amount. It's a personal decision. And you can't go by these rules that if you're 25, you should be 100%. And if you're 45, you should be 50%. And if you're 60, you should be zero. And I guess burping a lot. I don't know what the rules are in people at 60, but they, I hate those rules. I think they're pathetic. Why are you confident that stocks will be a lot higher in 10 years? Well, they're not lottery tickets. I mean, when you own a stock, it's a share of a company. And I think companies are going to make a lot more money in 10 years, a lot more money in 20 years, and that's that's why they go up. That's the only reason. Some companies don't do well. Zero Huxes make a lot less money than they did 30 years ago. It's a lot less. More companies are earning a lot more money than they were, and that's why stocks go up. Corporate profits have gone up 40-fold since World War II. Stock market's up 40-fold. It's 25 years since you started.